Ethical dilemmas. We face complex ethical dilemmas throughout our lives. Therefore, we propose a laboratory experiment to explain what a dilemma is. Imagine an autonomous car driving down a road. The brakes fail and it must choose between running over five pedestrians crossing the road or changing lanes and crashing head on into a car with two passengers. You are the expert who has to decide how the autonomous car should act in that situation. What would you do? You are faced with an ethical dilemma, that is, a situation in which you have to make a difficult decision in which there are only two options. Both alternatives cause irreparable harm, are mutually exclusive, and are equally defensible and reprehensible. Making a decision is complex, because no solution is without its weaknesses. If a dilemma is an ethical one, any solution contains an element of injustice. What do you do when faced with an ethical dilemma? 1. Understand the starting point and the people you will involve, and then see what effects, both fair and unfair, you will be causing them. 2. Identify fundamental ethical principles, prioritise and argue the choice made. In order to identify the most ethically sound option, you can look at the criteria proposed by the different ethical schools. Utilitarian ethics advocates doing as little harm as possible, which would mean hitting the oncoming car. Discourse ethics, however, would help to reflect on the objectives of the car's design and the expectations and interests of consumers and society in general. From this perspective, the car's automatic response should be the same as that given by consumers and society when asked about it. Virtue ethics would reflect on what the reaction of those involved in the situation should be in order to behave appropriately and in a way that is conducive to society's aspirations for happiness. Deontological ethics is guided by moral absolutes and states that you cannot harm anyone. Therefore, it could not be used in this case as it would paralyze you. If, looking at the dilemma from these points of view, you can see that there is a response on which all or most theoretical approaches agree, this response will surely be the most ethically sound one and will enable you to make the fairest decision. For example, if, from a utilitarian perspective, you conclude that the car should opt to take as few lives as possible, if this conclusion was also reached by the car's programmers and by consumers, and if it were proven that this would reduce the number of accidents and casualties on the roads, it would be said that this is the most ethically sound conclusion. When solving dilemmas, it is important to look for alternatives to the dilemmatic situation. The autonomous car can try to drive onto the hard shoulder and only the passenger would be injured. Another question would be, for example, whether cars could be programmed in such a way that they could foresee and avoid these situations. In view of these considerations, it is important not to confuse dilemmas with problems. When the options you have are not mutually exclusive, there is a problem. That is, when one of the options protects a legitimate right or expectation, and the other a non-legitimate one. For example, there is a problem when a car company seeking to increase its profits lowers production costs to the point of decreasing the safety of its products, thus increasing the risk for its consumers. While the pursuit of increased profits may be a legitimate interest, it cannot be pursued to the detriment of consumer safety. The answer is therefore clear, and there are no two mutually exclusive and undesirable options. There is only one ethically arguable option here. As mentioned at the beginning, ethical dilemmas in our daily lives are often complex. In such situations, ethics can help to exercise your freedom of choice more rationally and accurately. To become more aware of why you adopt certain behaviours rather than others, and to provide the reasoning for this.